chemistry investigates matter, so it makes sense that we want to be able to come up with some fundamental terms to be able to describe different uh, types of matter. So here we're going to be going over some of the, the classifications that we have and go over a couple examples. And this is just to be able to separate out different types of matter that we might be uh, involved with. So a pure substance is something that's made up of a single type of atom or molecule. And a mixture is a substance that's composed of two or more different types of atoms or molecules. And in here, we're going to see you really want to look at some examples of these, and we'll do that in just a second. But all matter can be separated into really two different things, a pure substance or a mixture. And of each of these, it's broken down into a further subset. So a pure substance can be either an element or a compound. So a pure substance can be broken down into also into two different types. An element is a substance which cannot be broken down into simpler substances. So here we're just talking about one individual element and a compound is a substance that's composed of two or more elements. So that's really the difference between the, the two. Is there one element or more than one element inside of our pure substance? Mixtures likewise can be broken up into uh, two different types. Heterogeneous, which means that the mixture's composition varies from region to region. region. So if I have a heterogeneous mixture, on um, one part of it, it may be, uh, have one composition and a different part, uh, it will have another com um, composition. A homogeneous mixture means that the composition is same throughout. So it doesn't matter which part of the, the mixture I'm looking at, the composition is going to be exactly the same. So here, to be able to straighten these out, it's really good to look at some examples. But fundamentally, the first question you're going to ask is what, we are, what we're discussing, a pure substance or a mixture? Once we separate the, those two, um, there will be a sub second question. If it's a pure substance, is it an element or a compound? If it's a mixture, is it heterogeneous or homogeneous? So let's look at some examples. So the first one is uh, vodka. When you think about vodka, there are many different molecules inside of there, but primarily it's made up of ethanol and water. So because there is more than one compound inside of it, it is a mixture. And of a mixture, the next question is, is it homogeneous or heterogeneous? And if you look at a bottle of vodka, uh, it's a clear liquid all the way through, and it's evenly mixed. So there's not a difference in composition uh, throughout it. So when you look at it, it is uh, just pure mixture of ethanol water all the way through. So we're going to call this homogeneous. When we look at water, Water is made up of just water molecules, H2O, so it is considered a pure substance. It's not an, el um, an element because it has hydrogen and oxygen inside of there. So water would be considered a pure uh, substance because there's only one type of element or molecule, the H2O, and then it's considered a compound because water is made up of hydrogen and oxygen. Another one is iron. So iron is, once again, a pure substance. So uh, iron itself, so if you have a chunk of iron, it's made up of iron Fe uh, atoms inside of there. So it is a pure substance. And there is no other element involved in, say, a chunk of iron. So it is an element. So it's a pure substance. That's the first thing you want to ask yourself. Is it a pure substance or a, a, a mixture? If it's a pure substance, the next question is, is it an element or a compound? And then uh, if you're, you're dealing with a mixture, the next question is, is it heterogeneous or homogeneous? So iron by itself is a pure substance. It's not a mixture. There's only one thing inside of there, the Fe. And then you say, is it an element or a compound? Is there Fe plus some other element, or it's just Fe by itself? And because of this, um, iron is a pure substance and an element. The last one is sand and water. So with this, we know it's a mixture. We have two different things inside of there, sand and water. So we know that it's a mixture. Next question is, is it heterogeneous or homogeneous? And if you've ever taken, uh, say, a glass of water and put sand in there, the sand will almost instantly settle down to the bottom. And this really shows what we mean by heterogeneous. So at the top, it is almost pure water. And at the bottom, it is mainly sand, and sand with a little bit of water inside of there. But the idea is 
that uh, the composition is not the same throughout. At one point it is, has more water, at the other point it has more sand. So that is our definition of heterogeneous.